Okay, so let's talk about clustering. Um, clustering is an unsupervised learning problem, and unsupervised means that there are no labels, <laughs> that the training data has no ground truth labels to learn from. So in the supervised setting, all of the data are labeled, and then for a new observation, you have to you have to try to guess the label. Whereas in unsupervised learning, you, you just get these observations and you have to do something with them. And uh, clustering is a, a key unsupervised problem, and the goal is to group points into clusters that are somehow similar to each other. All right, so um, let's say that each dot here represents a person and it's represented by two features. Okay, so I'm, I'm in two dimensions. And uh, you can see that you can see pretty clearly that there are five clusters. And you want the automatic you want the algorithm to automatically be able to figure out um, who is in which cluster. Okay, so here are the clusters. And this can be pretty tricky. Like, how in the world are we going to train a learning algorithm to figure this one out, right? Because <laughs> um, the points, they're not all close to each other within the cluster. And, um, you know, so it's, it's kind of tricky for an algorithm to actually figure out where the two clusters are here. So in, in this set of lectures, we're going to uh, show you two algorithms, um, one which is good for the first type of data and the other which is good for the second type of data. And neither, well, neither one of these algorithms can do well for the other type, interestingly enough. Okay, and there's a lot of applications for clustering, including um, you know, automatically grouping documents into topics, like grouping news stories into categories, um, and then you know, clustering large number of products, like Etsy, for instance, you might want to cluster products into things that would appeal to um, you know, one group of customers. And then you can also cluster customers themselves. Like if you have different groups of customers who have different needs and you want to advertise to them differently or you want to treat them differently, then um, clustering is a good application for that. And there's a lot, there's a huge amount of applications for clustering because there's a lot of unsupervised data in the world. All right, thank you.